Another damned outsider. We ought to lock you up until we can ship you back to where you came from. You have a problem with outsiders? Can you think of one problem on Magalon that isn't down to outsiders? The clerics gave us the Albs. The Albs come here building their filthy converters. They foul our soil, kill our people. The only thing stopping these bastards, killing every last one of the free people, are the hooded crows. Sounds like you really hate the Alps. They won't stop until everyone is dead. It's always us berserkers who are taking losses. Ten hooded crows on the last patrol alone. All good men. Now, I'm asked to make up my ranks with outsiders. You want to kill Alps? I want to exterminate them. And every man, woman, and child on this planet should want to do the same. What about you? Are you ready to go and hunt some hounds? Where are these Alps? Straight to the point. Good. The Alps have been scouting ruins to the west of here. It could be they're searching for resources, but it could be they're scouting our patrol routes, or looking for somewhere to set up a base they can use to launch an attack on Goliath. Whatever they're doing, those Albs have had a free run of things for too long. I need someone to head out there and kill them. Where are these ruins? To the west, in the Valley of the Damned. The Albs have been spotted in some abandoned ruins out there. It could be they've made those ruins their base, and are sending out patrols across the area from there. We've had reports of Albs on the roads around there, and out along the river by the World Heart. time to spend here. Maybe after it's all over. This elevator takes exiles down into the valley. Many who took that journey never return. The valley of the dead.
for being there. That could have gone badly.
should go. It's dangerous here. Most of them annoy me. All of them.
we'd better hurry up and get out of here. And fast. In light of the panic that has broken out in the last few hours, the Corporation will provide you with emergency transport to bring you and your family to safety. I don't like saying it, but there is a high chance that law and order will break down completely as soon as the real truth is learned. There won't be many survivors, but the Corporation will make sure that you are amongst them.
Not another step if you value your life. I value it. Commander Jax, they said you're dead. Executed. They tried. They failed. And so you live. So he is still Commander Jax, alb servant of the hybrid. Or has a near-death experience brought you to your senses? You'd have shot me already if you thought I was an alb. It looks like you're no longer taking Helix. But does that mean you've joined the fight against Zacor? Yes. The Alps must be stopped. So, you've swapped sides too. But just because you're free doesn't mean you're not a threat. Five minutes with the free people teaches you that emotions don't make people less dangerous. Strange, isn't it? On this side, free from Elix and from control. And where you've gone, some of us are trying to follow. We want to be free from Elix, eventually. We want to stop the Ice Palace from making a mistake. How did you escape from the other Alps? We didn't set out to become separatists. We were part of a commando unit. Our mission hit problems and we were cut off from Zaykor. After a while, we began to run out of supplies, including Elix. It wasn't long before we started to dream, to feel. Elixir Parsec noticed it first. He sent out patrols to locate possible sources of Elix, but it was too late. Eventually, our unit got round the enemy and returned to Zaykor. But we had changed. We realized we wanted to think. We no longer wanted to be controlled by the Alb Directive. What happened? We escaped and made it out here. We knew Parsec and the other Alexas would see it as treason. But we had already seen too much without Elix to blind us. The Albs are bringing about their own downfall. They're slaves with Elix there to control them. Escaping and joining the Separatists was the only logical course of action. In order to save the Alps, the Elexiders must resign and the old directive must be followed. I still believe the Alps can become more than we are. But we can't do it alone and we can't save this planet by subjugating and killing everyone else. What do you think of the free people? There must be another way to get Elix than to extract it from living people. Well, we think that the Alps will win someday. But what then? What happens when there is no more Elix? What happens when we have used all the resources? We fear that that could mean the downfall of us all. You really want to give up Elix? Yes. We don't want to poison ourselves anymore. We still take it, but... We control it. It doesn't control us. You really think you're in control? Would I speak out against the Alexodos if it wasn't true? We're helping each other. We're keeping our strength and our free will. Keep taking Elix, and the free people will see you as Alps. The Outdoors have their cans, their berserkers, their mana. How can this be seen as different? They can accept it. They must. It is in their best interests. But how are we to persuade them if we can't get you on our side? Are we able to trust you? I don't owe the Alexiders anything. You doubt their motives. Death will do that to a man. <laughs> to a man. If that's what we both are now. Can't you give up Elex if it would help you join another faction? It is for each Alp to decide. And for now, we have decided to take it. We have to stand by their decision. We are free people now, and won't replace one ruler with another. When did you last see Alexander Kallax? A long time ago. You both were on the battlefield fighting the free people. What have you been doing here in the dam? Hiding from the Alps, hiding from the free people, and wondering what will become of us. And we do it with fear. For the first time, I do it with fear. Fear of what? Death, mortality, of the guilt that comes from remembering the things we've done. Some of us weren't born elves. They are having it easier than those who were. But with that fear comes something else. Hope. Hope that our freedom means something. 
But unless we can find people, free people, who will work with us, then we don't stand a chance. You would better leave it down. The Berserkers have enough to fear from Zaykor without fighting us. We have to persuade them of that. Is there a Berserker you can trust? Someone who would work with us? If there is, please, talk to them for us. You know what we can do. Persuade them that they need us on their side, that we can help. We seek an alliance, not a fight. What would you want in return? To be treated like the other free people. The clerics have fought wars with the Berserkers, but they still speak to them. Some of them must understand that we deserve a chance. For that, we will work with them to stop the rule of Zaykor. If you say so. The Berserker Hakon sent me to speak to you. Hakon? What does he have to say? Hakon says you killed his men. There's a truth in that. We killed Berserkers in the battle before we changed. It was a massacre in truth. One ordered by Zaykor. But we are not who we once were. We are no longer Albs who blindly follow the word of the Alexiders. We have to convince him of that. We will find a way to pay reparation for what we did. And we can start by offering a hand in the alliance. If Hakon will offer us a haven here, the protection of a truce, we will fight against our common enemy. But he must do it soon. Zaykor is preparing to move against us. Soon, the Alexiders may kill us for him. You're being hunted by Alps. Parsec has sent a special forces unit to find us. They outnumber us, and they're better armed. Our old comrades are out to kill us. I'll find the Alps who are hunting you. There's a whole squad. At least five of them. Can you handle that? Do you know where the Special Forces unit is? Their last position was northwest of here. Since they don't know our strength, they'll follow protocol and wait there for reinforcements. And as we know, true elves follow protocol. They will still be at that position. There. I think I found those elves. technology and yet they built such ugly buildings.
do this. Still here. took care of the elves that were hunting you. You took them on? On your own? Then we are fortunate the elves made the mistake of trying to kill you. Who would have thought that we would fight shoulder to shoulder as defectors? Choose your weapon, we can trade.
What goods have you got? Understood. I found the Alps. So, they are scouting those locations. They must be planning another attack. Did you kill the scouts? Or are you here to ask for help? I spoke with them. To the Alps? And you're still alive? No, no, you're full of shit. Alps don't speak to anyone. They're Alps separatists. They don't take orders from Zaycor. Separatists? What are you talking about? The separatists don't want to fight you. You should talk to them. They're good fighters looking for allies to bring down the Alexiters. Allies? This stinks of a trap. It's no trap. They want your help. They're fighting the Alps to put an end to the bloodshed. To get rid of the Alexiters. You're serious? Alps? That want to fight Alps? Well, if they want to give up the fight, then it is my job to give them a welcome. Tell me where you found them. They are to the north, near the converter. That doesn't fit the reports I have. But if you say that is where they are, I'll send a few men to these uh, separatists to see what their intentions really are. If they're lying, they will pay with their lives. But if they're telling the truth, then maybe we Berserkers have found the allies we need to defeat the Alps. Here, take this as payment for your help. Why did you do that? Do you really think that? I helped Eckert secure the camp. Very good. I've already met your companions. You made some interesting choices. But somehow they fit in with the rest of the group here. And you have proven my vision true. I had no doubt when I saw you that you would be successful. And now, we come to the part of our agreement that is under my control. It was my task to prepare Origin for your arrival. Now, it is yours. I hope you use it wisely. Lead us to a safe future, where peace is possible again. If I am to lead, then you must follow my choices. We will follow, and we will hope. like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I could stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way, or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan. And we welcome all free people here. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. So, 
What can I do to earn my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Alves looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Alps. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa. Or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Wait, wait. One moment. What now? Seeing as you're looking to settle down here, you'll be needing to make friends, won't you? So, friend, why don't you head down to the tavern and bring me something back? What do you want from the tavern? Beer, water, hops, barley. That touch of genius, nectar of the gods. Ah, oh, now I really need a drink. your tavern it is indeed tavern home from home resting place for the hard-working man we offer shelter to all loyal berserkers you want something to drink give me a drink what it'll be time too and so here's where you give me my reward your reward was getting in through that gate be grateful letting people in is your job so is keeping people out I give the word and you'll never get in here how about you pay me and give your word are you looking for a fight because you've got one <laughs> Ah, where am I? All right, all right. You made your point. I won. Now, you pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Stop talking and pay me. Right, right. I'll pay. Just don't hit me again. to make a trade. And what brings you to me? Hey, can I help you? What do you want here? Who wants to know? My name is Born. I am the chief overseer of the seedling farms here in Goliath. Let me welcome you to Goliath, the jewel of Magalan. Here you can see what our world once was, and what she can be again. But tread carefully whilst you're here. Some of the plants we're cultivating in the seedling farms are fragile. Damaging them means exile to the Valley of the Damned. So I'd watch your step. It'll make life easier all round. Life is a lot more comfortable here in Goliath than out in that valley. What's a seedling farm? We grow a lot of different plants here. Specimens of all the types we can find. But of them all, the world hearts are the most important. For where they grow, all life will follow. 
That's why these plants get their own fortified defenses. If you would like to see the work we do, you are welcome to visit us. M many incomers stay to become cultivators. We always have space for more people willing to dedicate themselves to Magellan. I hope you find your place here. I'll see you later. Did angry say? You're new here, right? You're an incomer? Tell me, what do you think about our laws? Do you think they should be strict or just used as guidelines? Strict. Otherwise, why have them? It's time you had an education. Why are you asking me about laws? Well, you're not one of us. So, I'm surprised you know about our laws. Listen, can I ask you a favor? As an outsider, you're not bound by our laws. Not as much as a true berserker. What help do you need? I believe I saw someone in the pit. Then he escaped. He's sort of hanging around outside town, down that path near the gate. I think he's an outlaw. I'm only guessing, but I think he must be after the equipment we throw down there into the pit. If it is really one. Then he has to disappear. What exactly do you want me to do? Kill him. The outlaw. I'd recommend you do it from a distance. Don't get close. I'm certain he's up to something. So, why don't you take care of it? I, well, I'm not allowed to leave here. I've got to do things. I'm a technical expert. Angram wouldn't want me to endanger myself. I mean, if he was a piece of technology, I'd be there. The Elix would be out. The law would be satisfied, but... Look, Angram's already watching. He hears I've been near an outlaw, I'm dead, or exiled. I will take care of the outlaw. Good. Great. Thanks. I saw him by the cliff outside the gate into Goliath. You know, below the pit. You should check around there. Not bad. I'm not here from Angrim. I need to buy a laser weapon. rotting remains of a long-gone civilization. Ah, oh, 
shit. Back the fuck off, all right? You don't need trouble. Just walk away and pretend you didn't find me, okay? You're the one in trouble. And you came here to talk, did you? You want me to talk? Well, how's this for talk? Go fuck yourself. I don't want trouble. Is that so? So what do you want? How is life as an outlaw? Total, unmitigated, and relentless fucking joy. I mean, look at me. Who wouldn't want to be stuck out here waiting to get eaten by raptors? You're not happy being an outlaw? You know, at least it was my own stupid, shitty decision to be out here. Those poor, dumb pricks up there? They come out here to get eaten by raptors because some other dumb prick tells them to. If there's one thing I've learned, if you're gonna end up in this shit, it's better to make that shit yourself, rather than roll around in someone else's. What are you doing here? I'm waiting on your mom. What do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to find some shit that's worth selling. You even know how much tech they have stashed in their pit? They actually throw all that shit away. But while I know that, it's not like I can hang about up there in Goliath to try and get it. Those tree shaggers get funny about outlaws. Sometimes they bar you from the town for no reason. Are you waiting around for Ornier? Maybe. Might be. There's a chance I know a little shit by that name. He sent me to find you. So who are you? The Aram boy? What, he's got so rich trading with me that he's got servants now? I'm here to kill you. What the fuck? That little shit. Listen, you go to him and get that dickhead to start trading again. Tell him, tell Ornia I want the shit he promised me. What shit? The shit. The technology Ornia owes me. The prime pieces from the pit. Well, prime is stretching the description, but it's a good arrangement. The Berserkers get rid of the tech they don't want. Ornir gets shards he does want, leaving the question, what do you want? I won't do business with you. So you come down out here into this wilderness and you think that's a good answer? Have some fucking sense. Help me. Get paid. Don't get dead. Dead helps no one. Threatening me is a mistake. I'll show you who's made a mistake. This is the end for you. Rockbores have burrowed through the cliffs. They're threatening the seedlings. We have to stop them. Follow me. Another one of those animals. Be careful. 
Look out! Let's do this! The seedling fields are safe. The rot boars are dead. Rot boars? Vermin. He told me he suspected something was burrowing in the cliffs. I assume Auric is doing well? It seems so. Good. Your help is appreciated. Thank you for standing with us. How are the seedlings? But it will take time to train Auric's replacement and give them the care they need. And, in the meantime, we have a different problem. I've had to put all the cultivators to work to repair the damage the rot boars did to the fields. And that's left me short of people to gather the healing roots our healers are demanding. You need someone to harvest the healing roots? Yes. To harvest them and bring them back here. Any pair of hands willing to assist will be welcome. Please, we need those healing roots to care for the wounded. I will harvest the healing roots. Good. Good. I would be very grateful. We all would. If you can make sure you pick the mature roots, those are the only ones with healing properties. Where can I find the healing roots? They grow in small clusters around the lake above Goliath. They can be easy to overlook, so you may need to search for them a little. Why don't you plant healing roots near the seedling fields? They'd be easier to defend. We've talked about it, and the growing conditions are right there. You're right. We should stop talking and make it happen. As soon as the next seedling harvest is in, we'll make that happen. Thanks for reminding me. Hold of one recently, but then he found the spot. The outlaw by the gates, he's dead. He killed him? Yes. You don't need to worry about him anymore. So, well, that's, uh, that's good. Thank you from the Berserkers. Having that outlaw hanging around Goliath wasn't good for anyone. I uh, hear. Take this as thanks. Your work shouldn't be for nothing.
a nice place. This place used to be. Keep close, fight together. <laughs>
we had more time to spend here. Maybe after it's all over. being there. That could have gone badly.
With everything that's going on, you forget how beautiful it really is here.
I harvested the healing roots. Thank you. I will make sure Ragnar knows of your good work. You see, these fields do grow more than plants. And you don't find that a rather small payment born? Look, just because we know each other, don't think that... Oh, very well. Take this. Just because I respect you, Kaya. Teach me something. 